Hi, this is a small video because uh, about uh, loss of signal on my DJI Phantom 3 Advance as you got there. I've started it up to show you actually. I found that um, on, on the tablet the signal dropped out quite a lot while I was flying and it would freeze up and it would just say cancel the flight and fly back home type of thing. Well, I would cancel it and, and have to reset it again. The quadcopter would fly fine, but um, without uh, vision on, on your tablet, it felt a bit rather risky if it was out of sight. So, um, DJ come up with um, a HDMI slot. It's been out for some time now, actually. And uh, you replace the old uh, uh, modem on the back and you put an HDMI slot. It's not too hard. And I have done this so that you could plug in an external monitor, which uh, I have set up on, uh, I bought um, a skeleton one, actually, you can buy a monitor, but it's got to have an HDMI slot, which also gives you a monitor that has got high definition on it, which is quite good. The signal doesn't drop out at all, and it gives you the telemetry of the plane as well. So you're quite good there, but you don't have the app on it, So, but you have the... Uh, battery quality, uh, your flight, where you are, backwards and forwards, the height adjustment, things like that. So, and also the recording of, of your camera. So you know that uh, everything is working fine, but you can't do the away points or point of vision, point of view. You know, kind of uh, those types of things. So that is the downside. But uh, you do have a continue. Uh, signal from your quadcopter so that you know where you are and what you're doing at the time so, but you can reset this which on mine I could reset it but time you reset it quite a few minutes have gone because you turn it off turn it on again you hope your quadcopter is okay and uh, as I say when it's out of vision you wonder if you're still flying okay basically obviously you can get to return to home but if you're taking some uh, videos that you are uh, liking what you're taking, it, it makes it a bit awkward. So, for me to fit the HDMI uh, modem on the back, which is a little bit expensive, it's £80 pounds in uh, uh, pounds, sorry, and uh, I suppose about $110 r roughly. But uh, it's quite easy to fix, but uh, as long as your hands are a bit okay, you know. A younger person shouldn't have any trouble at all. And the monitor's quite good. I made this out of a, an old cardboard box, stuck the uh, basic monitor inside there, and it works fine. I've got an external battery. Really, I've got a Velcro that to the top or something like that, you know, and it should work okay. I don't want to keep going on this video because sometimes it gets a bit boring for people. But anyway, it gives you a good picture and it makes sure that you've always got a signal there so uh, which is a shame because uh, you don't really want two two monitors but uh, this way if your signal drops out of your tablet you've still got a backup on the screen at the top thank you for watching please uh, tick me if you like it you know and tell me if you don't okay all the best thank you hope this helps you